Hi there, folks. So uh, today I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to show you my very early recordings that I did in the mid 90s. Yeah, I'm pretty old. So I've always been saving all the songs that I've recorded and uh, been a guest on because it's just really nice to have a library of everything that I've done during the years. I don't know how I feel about sharing this on YouTube, but maybe this will be inspirational for anyone out there to listen to my early recordings, just to hear that it sounds like balls. So I'm gonna open iTunes here and uh, go to my folder called Leo Songs. It's actually 654 songs that I've recorded or been a part of recording. So. I've done it a lot. I've always called my solo project uh, Legos Lost Project and whenever I've recorded songs I've just labeled it like that. The first uh, recordings we're gonna listen to is done around 96 maybe I think and it's recorded on a Fostex cassette recorder and uh, at my friend's uh, garage. So it's just me and it sounds terrible. Let's go. So yeah, that sounded uh, really bad. So it was recorded on a cassette recorder and it only had like four tracks and uh, no possibilities at all. So after recording on uh, that device for a while, I bought the Boss BR8 digital recorder, which had uh, a lot more tracks and a lot more possibilities and built in like uh, guitar amps amps and uh, I could play bass or I used to play bass uh, with a guitar and just pitch it down an octave so that sounded kind of bad also but uh, sound quality uh, really improved from the cassette recordings so what's up diggity doll I keep staying at the same place every day I'm gonna say that this is not the only way I get my kicks and put him in a big show I get never sympathize and understand the perfect life So this is when I really got bitten by the recording bug. It was just really fun to layer stuff and uh, just have no limits and just having fun. So all of these recordings are not recorded on a computer, but uh, digital box. So for drums on these songs I use an old version of a Fruity Loops and that's the only thing that I used the computer for. Everything else was done in that box. So of course today you will have a much much better sound initially because now everything is on the computer and you have great plugins for everything. So I just used what I had and uh, just recorded recorded on the same stuff for years. So this song here is actually something we turned into a Lowdown song. Lowdown was a band I used to play in and we had a small record deal and recorded a couple of albums. So this is uh, an early version of uh, Intense.
so fast forward a few years and I started to using uh, computers. Uh, I first started to use Cubase for a couple of years, I think, and just recorded like many styles within metal. Just everything from Mishuka style to really progressive uh, craziness metal. So let's uh, listen to the Mashuga song. Yeah, so that's it basically. I just recorded and recorded for years and years. It was actually when I first started doing the metal covers. I did the poker face metal cover just for fun. And that's when I really think it started to sound good and I got really inspired to, to do these metal covers. Yeah. Good times. So I hope that was interesting for anyone out there into recording. I've sure had a great time doing this and of course I've learned a lot during the 20 years plus that uh, I've been recording. So yeah, just keep at it and uh, it's gonna sound better eventually. Thank you and I'll see you later.